Well, hey, everybody, we are here once again at Antlers Fireside Grill, Canadian Lakes, right here kind of in the center of the state. We're here with Jim Wood, chef extraordinaire, and we've got some lake trout here, Jim. First of all, you said this was Frankfurt? Yes, sir. Nice. A lot of good lakers up there. We're going to be fishing there shortly. What can we do with this lake trout to make it good, make it great? To make it great, I was going to say, it's, it's good regardless. It's good, Lake yeah. trout's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to sear it. Okay. All right, just give it a nice bronze color. We're not going to put any flour on it. We're not going to add any, any starch to it. Uh, and then we're going to make a summer vegetable ratatouille. Okay, what makes a ratatouille? I've heard that term. I don't know well, what that's that That's basically a, like, uh, a combination of a few different vegetables. And commonly it's onions, peppers, tomatoes, some sort of squash. Okay. Uh, fresh basil, and then it's stewed. And we're actually going to stew it in beer. To get started, salt your fish and add it to a pan on high heat. Cook the fish about two-thirds of the way through and remove it from the pan. And now it's time to make the ratatouille. So we're going to add our vegetables. We've got some onion. We've got a couple different colors of pepper here. Nice. Summer squash. Actually, this is yellow squash. Okay. Once we've got that cooked down a little bit, then we're going to add some tomato to it. A little more salt. And are you just cooking these till they're kind of done through, or are you trying to get them really soft, or trying to soften them up a little bit, okay. release a lot of the liquid um, initially? Okay. So now that we've got that, now we're going to add our beer here. And does it matter what kind of beer? Well, yeah. Um, you want something citrusy. Okay. Um, something that's not going to finish super bitter. Hmm. All beer is going to finish a little bitter, um, so we're going to add a little sugar to sweeten it up. Hmm. Just a little bit of sugar to help sweeten that up. Hmm. All right, and now add our fish back to that. Fresh basil, and then here we have some jalapeno, orange, and maple butter. Oh, wow. And this is going to help keep the fish moist. And it's this really is going to help thicken the sauce and um, give the sauce a little more depth. So we're kind of steaming it a little bit here. Yep. Okay. Wow. So how long do you want to sit in this situation here? It all depends size of the fish? Yeah, so for instance, I added a, a little more liquid than I would for, say, if I was doing something thin like rainbow trout. Okay. Um, that was a pretty good size fillet. I mean, it was, was decent, yeah. yeah. Um, so it all, it all depends. Um, okay. Yeah, most important tool for a home cook is to buy an instant read thermometer. Okay. That's the only way you're ever going to, I mean, unless you fish is done at what? <clears throat> I like to pull mine off 130, 135 degrees, which is approximately mid-rare. What is the name of this dish? This is seared lake trout with beer broth and ratatouille.